Hey, Tanya, good night. Hello. Hi, hello, how Hi. are you? <laughs> Fine. Fine. How was your day today? Was it busy? Yes, I, I went to work. Wow, physically? Yes. Ah, and how was it? Mm. Yeah, so. good. Uh, was it a good day or it was yes. a busy day? Good day. Good day. Yes. Relax for, for Monday is. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Because most of the time Mondays are really heavy. Oh, my God. And you said that you work uh, in San Salvador, right? No, uh, Lourdes. Oh, Lourdes. Yes. You were there. Yes, uh, I live in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Ah, so you live in Lourdes and you work in Lourdes as well. Yes. Oh, that's fine. That's awesome. That's nice to have a job like that. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. And you have to uh, drive to work or work to work every day or sometimes you work from home? No. Uh... Now, every day. Oh, so there's no more from home? No. Es que estoy en el área productiva. Oh, okay, you're in the production department. Production. Product, oh, yes, so definitely you yes. have to be there, right? Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember that you said that you work from all scene, right? Yeah, I remember yeah. that, yeah. Oh, um, yes, definitely. You had to be there, but you love your job. Yes, yeah, I know. That's amazing. You have over six years, right? You told six me, right? Years. That's amazing. So you are right there, such a little baby girl, because uh, you were 24 years 24. old, right? Yes. Wow, and now you're 30. Wow, time passed really fast. Yes. Uh, yeah. I am uh, a uh, civil technician. Yeah. Uh, but now I engineer. Wow. You already mm -hmm. finished your career. Yes. Ah, you finished uh, last year or no? Yes, last year. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Very good. That's great. So civil engineer. Oh, that's a pretty tough. Oh, you love mathematics, right? By heart. Yes, I, I love. Oh, no, no, <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Well, I, you know what? I'm not, I'm not bad in mathematics. I have never been bad in mathematics, of course, but it's not uh, my special. Your favorite. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I think my one is more like humanities like uh, social things, like things to read, and more like reading, right? Like analytic, but nothing to do with my hands. Uh, but my mom, I know, you know what? My two pa parents, my mom and my dad, they are sociologists. And oh. uh, basically I think all oh, my family has been related to uh, human things, human careers like mm -hmm. uh, medicine, like psychologists, teachers, uh, lawyers, kind of things like that. Mm -hmm. More like reading things, right? But I do not have any any family member who actually is an engineer. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yes, my brother, my older brother. But he is like an um, uh, engineer, but in systems, something related to computer. Oh. Computer. Yeah, mm -hmm. computer. And I think you said, what else? And electricity, something like that. Uh-huh, yes, but it's the only one. <laughs> yeah, the rest, no. And I have one sister who actually, she's, she doesn't like to, to study too much. She's not like dedicated to that things, but um, she's an older sister. She's like, she's 10 years older than me. Can you imagine? No, but she's still junk. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't live here, but um, she always has been really good with things related to drawing, to drawing, yes. painting. I remember that when I was a kid, 
and you know that in school, right? And in, uh, in uh, the college, you know, the high school, you have to like draw the uh, circulator uh, system, right? The digestion system and all the stuff, right? So I, I told her, you gotta, I had to draw it in a big thing like this. So I put it like a picture next to it and she wasn't uh, next to the picture and she was drawing like this. And I was like, oh my God, she was really good. It looks like she has copied it directly, but she didn't. She, made, she did it from zero. So she always had been good on that. In my case, I love painting. <laughs> and, and, yeah, I love to paint and I love to decorate wow. things. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm decorating my room that you cannot imagine. And I almost have to, I had to paint. Um, and I love to take pictures. Because my especially, I'm a journalist. Oh. Uh, I'm a journalist in, in institutional communication. That's my specialty. So, and of course, languages. <laughs> yeah, that's why I love it. I love the things, but never related to mathematics. No. <laughs> in my case, my father is engineer. Really? Oh, so you see, in civil in engineer. My, yeah, civil oh, engineer. My husband is civil engineer. <laughs> oh my goodness! So you are related with civil engineer people. That's amazing. Yeah. So, well, when you have a kid, hopefully, I don't know, he's going to have a civil engineer career as well. That could be, right? Yeah. Maybe yeah. yes, maybe not. I like to rock uh, uh, machinaria. I'm going to say machinaria. Machineries? Machineries. Really? Oh, like. that's amazing. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. You see, everybody has a specialty and the abilities. Definitely. Definitely. We are good with one thing, and so maybe we're not good with other things and vice versa, right? Hey, we have Anita Sana Sanaria here. So you see, today is going to be girls' night. Yay. Yeah. That's amazing. I thought it would be one on one session, but no, that's okay. I have we have Anita here. So that's awesome. You know what? Today, talking about uh, other things. Today's topic will be really amazing, Tanya, because uh, um, I don't know if you have, uh, let me check. I'm going to share right now with you something, and I just want your help for reading something, okay? Okay. A couple of minutes. <laughs> okay, let me check. I have it here. There we go. That's your doggy, right? <laughs> no. No, it's not. You don't my, have a dog. My neighbor. Oh, your neighbors. Okay. It can, uh, can you see my screen right now, Tony? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So if you see here, to uh, basically we're on unit A right now. That's amazing. And this uh, unit is we're going to talk about holidays and festivals. Uh, we have here in one, two, three, four pictures, uh, Chinese New Year, Australia Day, Children's Day, and Days of, of the Dead, right? So let me ask you, mm, in here in our country, in El Salvador, do we celebrate a similar holidays? What do you think? Yes, uh, New Year. Mm -hmm. New Year, okay. Children's Day. Children's Day, uh huh. Day of the Dead. Yeah, so I, so. Yes, yes. It, but it's uh -huh, and it's most of the time is the same uh, date, right? November the second, right? Mother's mm. Day. Father. Oh, exactly. Yes. We do have a different Independence okay. Day. Independence Day. Mm hmm. Very good. Do me a favor. Can you please read for me uh, the first section when it says Chinese New Year? When uh, it's celebrated. Mm -hmm. Chinese New Year, uh, January or February. Mm -hmm. February. Chinese people celebrate the Lunar New Year with fireworks and lion dance. Lion dance is very good, exactly. Mm -hmm. What about uh, Australia Day? When does it celebrate? Can you please continue reading? Uh, January 26th. Mm -hmm. An Australians put on a patriotic show to the celebrate their national day. 
Oh, okay. So you see National Day for Australia is in January the 26th. Did you know that already? It's a... Uh, um, I, I didn't know that it was January the 26th. The Australia is, is Independence Day. Uh-huh, yes, so it, because it celebrates their national day, yes. So it will be a independence, mm -hmm, that's right. What about, uh, go ahead. Children's Day, mm -hmm. May 5. May 5th. Chinese, mm -hmm. Chinese families put on color, a streamer, shade, live fish, Mm -hmm. in honor of their children. Uh-huh, very good. So you see in Japanese families, it's May 5th that they celebrate it. And how they celebrate it? They say that they put like uh, color shrimps, right? It's like, can you see that? I, I just tried to like put it a little bit closer. Can you see the things? It's like a tears of paper that they put with a different colors. So that is like symbols their children that's amazing but you know what this is really interesting because uh children's day is may 5th and here uh, tanya where do we celebrate children's day what date uh, october october exactly i think it's the first uh monday of october right if i'm not mistaken here in el salvador i think so well, I remember my high school. <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> what about the last day, date of the death? What it says? November uh, 2nd. Mm -hmm. uh, Mexican made playful. Uh, skeleton sculptures. A skeleton sculpture. Mm -hmm. And pay pan, de, pan de muerto, bread mm -hmm. of death. Exactly. So, do you do you notice that that uh? Let's go back together. Do you notice that um, that celebration? Because uh, most of the time in Latin America, uh, they celebrated November the second, right, the date of the death. But it's really interesting that in Mexico yeah. they do like a bread, they call pan de muerto. Yeah, and they put like an altar. Yes. Yeah. to the to the people that already passed away and i think they made like a special things because they cook right they cook for them like tacos or yeah. i don't know enchiladas whatever and they, and they put it in an altar when they put the the picture right i think it was a picture of the of the family member mm -hmm. okay do you re the, do you remember hi Nati. you see you made it yeah <laughs> I'm just arriving home. She was like, <laughs> 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 all righty. And look, this beautiful woman. I don't know what happened to her, but she, I don't know. Hey, Rosario, did you do something to your hair? Yeah. Huh? I, I arrived late in my, in, at my home. Oh, but, because, but, uh -huh. because I, 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 I have a bus. Oh, okay. But you know what? You look pretty beautiful today. I love your hair and I love your makeup. Oh, yes. Ooh, ooh. oh, <laughs> and she said, oh yes. Ah, yes. Don't be so uh, selfish. <laughs> <laughs> right, Tony? Yeah, you look beautiful. You see, Tony is agree with me. So, God, girl, thank you so much for joining today's class. We were discussing with Tanya. She just uh, finished reading like... um some information about different festivals and celebrations around the world. We have spoken about a Chinese New Year, also Australia's, right, on Australia's National sure. Day, which is uh, January the 6th, right? Yes. No, or January the 26th. 20, 26, 26, 26, exactly. You see, you're good with numbers, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, also, um, the Japanese family celebrate um, celebrates um, Children's Day on, on May the 5th, right? And we do celebrate it in October, right? And um, the November 2nd is, well, of course, what well, we're talking this right now, the death day, right? The day of the death. Mm -hmm. But here, guys, because in Mexico, they prepare pan de muerto, right? But here in El Salvador, 
do we do something special for that day or no? Besides visiting the places where our beloveds are, do, do they prepare any special food? Do you remember or no? Ojuelas. Ojuelas. Yeah, I think that ojuelas is only those days, right? Nothing else, right? Yeah. yeah. Only ojuelas, exactly. What else? Any other special food besides ojuelas? No. No. Oh, any any beverage? No. Rosario, no. do you remember something? No. Um, um, salad, salad fish. Ah, and okay. Salad fish and vacation. Mm hmm. Uh, Semana Santa. Oh, Holy Week. Holy yes, very good. Thank you so much for letting us that. Besides all the holidays that we were talking, girls, uh, what other days do we have? Uh, right now, Rosario mentioned something, Holy Week, right? Which is uh, in which month? Between which months, girls? Between March. April, March, March and April. March and April, right? It's not exactly the same month, right? Or the same week. It could be varied, but exactly what Rosario said, that during that period of time, uh, most of the people do not eat uh, meat, right? Or chicken, right? Right. Only fish, right? If I'm not mistaken. Fish. Without any kind of preparation, but it has to be fish, okay? And I think nothing to do with alcohol beverage, right? Nothing, right? Right. Okay, okay. Oh, and by that day, how you say that, girls? Rosario, you have to help me on this one. Because, um, well, my mama prepares that and also my mother-in-law prepares it, but she prepares in a different way. Uh, what is it? What is it? It's a fish. It's a fish that you could put with garbanzos? Yes, garbanzos. Oh, what's my, the name of it, Rosario? Yeah, uh, uh, exactly, uh, Tania. How do you call that? Do you remember that fish? Relleno de pescado. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I love it. Right? You love it? That, those are really yeah. good, right? Mm -hmm. I don't, in my case, I don't like my my mom prepare the, the fish because I, in my case, I, I, I don't like. You don't like it. You know what? No. I didn't like it at the beginning because the first time that I taste them, I don't know what happened because it's specific fish, right, that, they, that you buy. And I think is the fish is already salted, so I need you. You need to put it like in a little bowl of water to take off the the exceed of salt, right? But I don't know what uh, what happened. But for the first time that I ate it, the person who had cooked it, I think it didn't do that, and I was really you cannot imagine. I couldn't eat it. It was with a lot of salt. That it, the salt was over here, and I was like. And I was drinking Coke and no, nothing happens. No. So I was like, no way. But next time my mama prepared it, she put it like with um, carabanzos and uh, with potatoes as well. Yes, potato. And uh, I think it is involved in, in egg, right? In egg, yes. But here in San Salvador. But uh, since my mother in law, she's from uh, Usulutan, Alegria, um, she prepares in a different way, you know? She's, she do the like tortas, fish tortas, mm -hmm. which is basically uh, the same kind of fish, of course. But um, she put the, just the meat of the fish inside of uh, mass bowls. And then she fried them, of course, with some species, right? Species and everything. And, uh, but she prepared like a, like a little soup and she put a lot of vegetables and uh, also rice. But you cannot imagine it's really good because it's like moss of fish. It's totally different from the way they prepare it here. And I love that one. I love it. It's really you have tried it, Rosario. It's really good. <laughs> yes, it's different. <laughs> it is different. But but I think the people who is but you should know it, Nati, because I think it's the people from San Miguel, right? In the Sulu. Yeah, right. When I lived there, mm -hmm. I, I used to eat that. That's the way they prepare it. They prepare it, it right? And it's yeah. really good. Yes, it's really good. I love it. In my case, my mother-in-law put a lot of potatoes. Oh, I love it. 
I love it. I love it. I think I prefer more this that way than the other one in San Salvador. But but my, but my mama's cook was really nice. I always wait. You know what? Even though it's not as that special date, but if she finds that kind of cheese, of fish, sorry, she prepares it for us. But I think that girls that 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 salty fish is sell it in that period of time, right? In Holy Week. If there's another um, food that we eat, girls, in Holy Week, besides those things that we have mentioned? Any yeah. other food? Uh -huh. Maybe focote en miel. Oh, okay. What else? Mango miel. Mm -hmm. Focote and mango. Oh, and we are mango. giving a lot of calories. Okay. Torrejas. <laughs> Torrejas. Yeah. Oh my God, they're delicious. Uh -huh. I like it. I like it. You love that, right, Rosario? She's so like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what else, girls? Do you remember what else we do? Because we have a special then, right? We have really special holidays that we have a special things that we do. So we have talked about Holy Week, uh, but there's another festivity or festivals that we celebrate here in El Salvador. Is in that What? In, in August, the... In August? Oh, okay, yes. The capital party. Yes. Exactly. But, yes, but just in Salvador, right? Just San Salvador, right? San Salvador, yeah. But I think uh, because you're from San, you have lived in San Miguel, then sometimes uh, the different departments has like their own celebrations, right? Right. In San uh -huh. Miguel, for example, the celebration is in November. Mm -hmm. The it's same that, uh, that is in, that in San Salvador is in August. Yes, right. Ah, okay, okay. But in San Miguel, they do um, a carnival in November. Ah, the famous carnival. Yeah. The Carnival of San Miguel. <laughs> yeah. I remember that sometimes was an orchestra, the, the Flores Brothers, right? <laughs> I remember that. Oh, I love them. <laughs> that was amazing. Exactly. Well, hey, girls, what other festivities of, uh, of festival things do we have here in El Salvador? We have talked about Holy Week, uh, August thing. Uh, what else? We have Children's, right? Children's Day. Yes. Uh huh. Which I think we celebrated on October, right, Tony? Yeah. On October. Uh, Halloween. Halloween, okay, Halloween. yeah. Well, this is not it's not ours directly, right? We have like copied that. But but here yeah. in El Salvador, uh, it celebrates that, yeah. And I think yes. it celebrates before the the day of the death, right? Before that day. Because I think it's October 31st, right? Right. Okay. And, and then November the 2nd is the, the date of the death. Okay, what else? What other celebration do we have here? A special days? Christmas. Christmas, okay. Mothers, okay, very good. What else? Father. Fathers, okay. What Fathers. else? Labor Day. Labor Day, oh yes, here. I think it's the May 1st, right? May 1st, right. May 1st, okay. Do we, do we do something special that day? Besides marching? <laughs> in our home ah yes we stay home yeah but i think nowadays we're sick to stay home right <laughs> okay because there's no place to go right now yeah we cannot go yeah but most of the time it's a holiday right it's a day off right right most of that mm -hmm. what else any other special day girls woman's day <laughs> wellness day Really? Woman, woman. A woman say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We do not have yeah. a day off, but uh, in a, uh, well, it depends, right? Some, some, um, some enterprises or some business they do, but if not, some, if they do not have a day off, they do like a special activities, right? For women, right? Yes. Right. Or for example, remember that a place that I work with, uh, they ask for a hair salon who do the hair things for the girls or ask to do the nails and like, oh my God, that was amazing. <laughs> that was a girl thing, right? <laughs> yeah. And what happened in February, right? Do we celebrate something in February? Valentine's. Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. You see, we have a lot of celebrations. Okay. To do me a favor. What's your favorite holiday or special day? Nati. Hey, Christmas. Christmas. Okay. What about you, Tanya? Me too. Christmas. Okay. What about you? Rosario? 
for me, uh, Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Oh. Yes. <laughs> It's because she already has children. That's the reason, girls. I think you two know, right? No, yes. A lot of this. <laughs> uh, yes, I think so. Yeah. My, you... my, my mom have, have a 93 years old. 93? Yes. Wow. Your mama's still with you? Oh, that's a bliss. Oh. Yes. Maybe one day we can meet her, right? <laughs> yeah. Always uh, give her a hugs and kisses from us, okay? Yes. Oh, okay. that's amazing. Mm -hmm. 93 years old. My grandpa is 93 years old. No, wait. No, 94. <laughs> <laughs> that's my only grandpa that I have right now. It's the last one. 94. My goodness. That's an entire journey, Rosario. Yes. Yeah. He, nowadays, there are no many people that will last like that such a last time. Yeah. You know what? I think that all people for the old generation, they are like a trees, right? They are really strong people. And yes. also because the, the, way, the lifestyle, I think, has been changed, you know? Not always, what do you think about the lifetime, the environment, the food that they used to eat, right? It was more natural. Oh, nowadays it's totally different. Yes. Yeah, so I think that's the reason why they last for a long, long time. Oh my God, I'm so happy that you have your mom and it's 93. That's great. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you see Mother's Day. Okay, Mother's Day and Christmas. Okay, very good. And you, and you were thinking, why the teachers asking us so many questions? Okay. Okay, right now, girl, we're talking about that because the first thing that I want to do today, um, we, we love to talk about holidays, right? We love to talk about festivals and special days. Uh, but sometimes we know what to say it in the way that we will say it in Spanish. And we are so emotional about telling about our special days and our special holidays. But sometimes you're thinking, how am I going to say that? How can I express uh, what do we do in those days? Or how, why do I like this day? Uh, oh. So today we're going to learn more vocabulary, a lot of vocabulary that we use uh, to talk about not only holidays, but what do we do in those holidays, okay? So that's what we're going to learn right now. And of course, we're going to go with the second time, with the second topic, but it will be depends of how it goes with the first one, okay? So allow me just a couple of minutes. <laughs> and let me share right now my screen. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There you go. We're going to know about a lot of things today. Okay. Let me put it in such a smaller here because with Tanya, I was, I was trying to put it a little bit bigger. But, um, mm -mm. okay, there you go. Let me do it a little bit bigger this time. Okay. Do me a favor and let me know if you are able to see my screen, okay? Yeah, you look nice, Nati. Don't worry. <laughs> she was like, oh, my God, my crew here. Like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, you look nice. Don't worry, girl. Okay, very good. Okay, can you see my screen, girls? Yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. Right now, we're going to play it again with this one in a minute. But what I'm going to focus right now is the pronunciation of these words. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. and, um, repeat after me. Candy. Candy. Rice cakes. Rice, Rice cake. cake. Juice. 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 Presents. Presents. Relatives. 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 Candy. Candy. Decorations. Decorations. A wedding. A wedding. A wedding. A party. A party. A beach. A beach. A beach. A beach. A beach. A beach. Okay. A meal. A, A meal. meal. Games. Games. Money. 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 Music. 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 
cards. Cards. Flowers. Cards. Flowers. Food. 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 Friends. Friends. A birthday. A birthday. A parade. A parade. Fireworks. 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 New clothes. New clothes. A celebration. A celebration. Traditional clothes. Traditional clothes. 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 Closest, very good. Closes, very good. Okay, girls. So uh, in this particular one here, if you see the number one, the one, the letters that are in bold, basically those are the verb girls that we can use with with these uh, words. For example, you can say eat candy or rice cakes, give presents, go to a wedding, have a party play music or games, send flowers, visit relatives, watch fireworks, and wear new clothes. Okay, so do me a favor. Let's play it again, girls. I want you to take a look at this uh, line by line and tell me which word or phrase is not usually paired with each verb. For example, can I say it juice, girls? Yes or no? No. No. Okay, no, 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 no. That's not possible, right? Exactly. So this one is not. Can I say give relatives? No. No? Okay. Go to decorations, a wedding, or a party. Which one is the, in, the one that it doesn't match? Decoration. Decorations, okay. Number four, have a party, a beach, or a meal. What do you think, girls? Tanya, Rosario? A party. Have a party? Have a party? Is that correct? Uh, what do you think, girls? A bitch. A bitch. Very good, Tanya. That is the one that it doesn't match, okay? Play games, play money, play music. Which one is not the one that is correct? Money. Money. Very good. Send cars, flowers, and a party. Which one is not correct? A party. Okay, party. very good, a party. Visit relatives, food, or friends? Food. Mm -hmm, very good. Watch a birthday, a parade, fireworks? A birthday. Very good. And last one, wear new clothes, a celebration of traditional clothes? A celebration. A celebration. Yeah. Very good job. Excellent. Do me a favor, girls. Uh, let's go back to the celebration that you mentioned. Not only the ones that you mentioned that we do here, but also um, the ones that you said that you said that you like it. Uh, according to all the vocabulary that we have double checked right now, do you do any of the things with your family or with your friends? For example, like I think he, Nati say that you like Christmas, right? Right. Okay. So, what of the things that we have seen right now, the vocabulary like give presents, give candies, whatever? What all? What of the things that we have seen you do with your family? Um, for example, we give each other presents. Mm -hmm. and we play Secret Santa. Mm -hmm. And also we we watched fireworks. Okay. And what about clothes? Oh yeah. Uh -huh. that cannot cannot miss that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we most of the people, clothes. right? They were in the clothes. Right. Yes, also that. Uh huh. Hey, Tanya, do you do the same uh, like Natty? Because also you have the same celebration, right? That you like. Yes. So you do exactly I, the same with Nati, or you do something extra, something else besides that? Uh, we we take drink. Uh -huh. You drink? Okay. Drinks. Okay. <laughs> and cook. Coke. And 
Uh, cook, cook, or you drink cook. Coke? Ah, you cook. No, no, no. Uh -huh. Ah, you cook. Okay. I you cook? cook and... oh. yeah. Turkey. Turkey. Uh, uh, excuse <laughs> me. Okay. <laughs> How do you say pierna de, de cerdo? Pig's leg. Pig's leg. Really? Mm, that's really yeah. good. And that is yummy. That is big. I I remember like Fred Flintstone. Do you remember what is Fred Flintstone? <laughs> yeah. Los Pica Piedra, right? Mm. I remember yeah. that day. Yeah. <laughs> With that huge. Yeah. Okay. What else do you do? She cooks. She prepares dinner. We dance. Oh, dance. Okay. Dance. Okay. Yeah. A lot. A lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. For so, 4 a.m. <laughs> 4 until 4 a.m. Yeah. Can you imagine? Oh my God. And the poor neighbors. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you see, you have, have you listened, Rosario, what these girls do in their uh, special celebration? What about you? What do you do in the special celebration that you like? I think it was Mother's Day, right? Mother's Day. What do you do that yeah. in that day? And the Mother's Day, I celebrate with my mom. Mm -hmm. And we, we go and go give, give the presents. Ah, you give presents, okay. Mm -hmm. Give presents. And Do you cook? I drink, ah. I drink sodas and chocolates. Ah. And <laughs> chocolate. Uh, we dancing. Oh, really? Your mama still dancing? My my mama see. <laughs> really? Look at her. Okay, ninety three uh, years old, but we, she feels like a we, fifteen. Okay, good. <laughs> we photograph. Uh, oh, do you take pictures? Yes. Okay. And um, enjoy uh, enjoy with the. A lot of family. With the family. Heck, you can, yes. With the family. You know what, girls? Fa our family, when you say family, it's like family. people that lives with you. Right? For example, mama, daddy, children, right? Yes. Etc. But for example, Rosario, if it's there's a, uh, it's still your family, but doesn't, doesn't live with you, right? Uh, it's yes. called relatives. 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 Well, we said in the Spanish, parientes. Parientes. Yeah, those are your relatives. Do you remember that we saw that right now in the vocabulary? Relatives? Relatives. Mm -hmm. Relatives are parientes. Okay. They, are, they do not necessarily live with you, but uh, it is part of your family. Sometimes they live in San Miguel, in Santa Ana, in Sulutan, right? In a different places of El Salvador yeah but it's it could be your mom's family right but it could be from your dad's mm -hmm. yes. so exactly so that calls relatives okay so Thank that's you. hey you didn't know that right Oof. oh you didn't ask me that that, that was a vocabulary <laughs> there <laughs> hey girls any vocabulary that we know or that we have learned right now besides relatives that you would like to know what's the meaning of that? Or everything is clear like water or like horchata? <laughs> like water. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Don't tell me that. Uh-huh. Okay, that's amazing. Okay, so we're good. Girls, today... We, we have talked about that and uh, we have a vocabulary, right? We have learned more vocabulary to express ourselves. Uh, but do you remember that I asked you, what do you do in that day, in the special day that you, that you like? Uh, you express that I give presents, that I spend time with my family, we, we dance, right? We dance, we uh, listen to music, we cook. Of course, I cook. Tanya said, I cook, you know, mm -hmm. uh, et cetera. Okay. But uh, you know what? Sometimes instead of saying like many things or try to like say, I do this, I do this, I do this, and I do that, there's one um, 
grammar thing that we use to englobe everything that we do on that day. And let me write it right now for you. We call relative clause. Relative That's what we call mm -hmm, relative clause. We have a lot of relative clauses, but for example, if you said, let's pretend, uh, in the United States, we celebrate Thanksgiving, right? Most of the time, it is on the, the last Thursday of November. Always. Doesn't matter what day. That, that celebration doesn't have a specific date because it could vary. But all you have to remember is that the last Thursday of November is Thanksgiving. That is when we celebrate it. So we, we, if you would like to say Thanksgiving, it's, um, it's a holiday when, and then you said, you do this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this. That little phrase, girls, the word when, the word when is what we call relative clause of time. Because that little phrase it will help us like a bridge to join, to join the idea of the, the name of the holiday that we would like to talk about. Then we use when, and after that, we explain everything that we do in that day. Let me give you, let me give an example so you can, um, um, so you can have a better idea what am I talking about. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Just allow me one moment. Okay, there you go. I will send it right now on the WhatsApp. And uh, let me know if you received. Did you girls receive it? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. So I send you, I will write it right now on the chat, but I send you like this. Thanksgiving is a day, right? That's the only thing that I send it, right? Thanksgiving is a day, okay. But you said, it's a day of what, right? Because that idea, it's, it's caught it, right? Is not complete. Is that right? All right. So, so you would like to explain or to express more about what do you do on that day? Well, let me give you the other part. Let me check it out really quickly. Okay, I will give it to you the other part. Just let me know when you receive it. Okay, do you receive the second part? Yes. Yes? I put on the second part this. Let me double check right here. Okay. We celebrate the harvest, right? That's what I said. You know what harvest is? No, teacher. Cosecha. 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 Cosecha harvest. Yeah. Because do you remember that the Thanksgiving girls? Uh, well, talk a little story, right? Uh, the Indians or the native people help the strangers uh, cultivate the, the, the earth, right? So the earth can produce. And, and of course, they will have food for their entire life. So the harvest is that. 
So I, okay, I, I have two ideas. Take a look. The first idea is Thanksgiving is a day. That's one part of the sentence. The second sentence is we celebrate harvest. Okay, so how can I enjoy these two ideas into one? Well, then we're going to use the relative clause of time. So if I want to use one sentence, two sentences into one, how it's going to take? And using girls, relative clause of time. What is the relative clause of time that we're learning right now? What is it? When. When. Oh, okay, so let's use that relative clause of time to join the two ideas and to make it in one sentence, okay? Okay, so we said. Okay, let me put it in capital letter. Thanksgiving is a day when we celebrate the harvest. Let's change this one. What? There you go. You see? I put I put it in the chats right now. So Thanksgiving is a day when we celebrate the harvest. That's it. It's complicated. Is it complicated? Mm, not so much. No, right? Not really. Teacher, yes. Go ahead. We can say. Can we say? Can we say Thanksgiving is the day? Instead of is a day. It's the day. Right. Not really, because you're talking about in general. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. But you can say it is the day that we choose, that we choose to be in a, to be a, as a family. You can say that. But mm -hmm. if you want to use the relative class of time when, you have to put it like ah, is a day in general. Or for example, you can say May 10th. Is a day when Salvadorians celebrates mothers. You see, we're talking about in general. But if you want to say uh, May 10th is the date that all the children get together and set or give presents to their mom, for example. But if you would like to use the relative clause of time, you gotta use it like a day, like in general way. Mm -hmm. Okay, Do, let's, de, let me give you another example. Let me check. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, this one is really good. I will give it to you that all of it together. So you will able to see that. Okay, cool. Let me send you another example. And we'll do it in this WhatsApp as well. There you go. Got it. There's another example. So let me check here. Okay, cool. Okay, I send you a second example that we can use about uh, November the 14th. I sent it to you, right? November the 14th, I put here, is a day, or oh, is the day, you see, eh, Nati? But this is in a different way. Is the day when people give cars to one to they love? Is that day? Mm -hmm. Exactly. It, why is different? Nati, there's a difference. I gave you an example, right? I told you May 10th is that day, right? right? But I said Mother's Day is that day. What's the difference? Because I said Mother's Day is a day and May 10th is that day. What's the difference? Because in the first one I used a, and in the second one, I use that. Maybe because in the first one, you are referring to a person, and in the second, to a thing? No, actually, no. Yeah. Pay attention to the sentence. Mother's Day is a day when blah, 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 blah. May 10th is the day when blah, 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 blah. Both of them are referring to a holiday, right? Which is the holiday of the Mother's Day celebration. But can do you notice, girls, that in the first one, I just spoke about the day in general, 
I said Mother's Day is a day. But in the second one, I said May 10th is the day. So in the second one, I'm still talking about Mother's Day, but I'm giving you the specific date, mm -hmm. right? Right. So in that case, you can use the. And this is the second example that I gave you right now on the, on the WhatsApp. I can say Valentine's Day is a day, right? When people give presents and cars to each other, for example. But in the in the example that I sent it to you, I put February 14th, right? Is the day when, and I gave you the example. So you see, uh, you can mention as a day and give it in general, but if you would like to express that specific date of that celebration, which in this case is um, February the 14th, for example, uh, you put that day because you are specifying that specific day. So that's the difference. Is, is it clear, Tony? Is Ro Rosario, is it clear? Mm, a little. A little, okay. Okay, I will explain to you. Uh, you said that your favorite holiday is Mother's Day, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, let me write it in the chat right now. And you can say, um, let me put it here, Mother's Day. Let's put that. Mother's Day is a day when, let me check, when children give presents to give presents to their mom. Okay. Take a look, Rosario. Yes. Okay. I put uh, Mother's Day is a day when children give presents to their mom, right? You see, uh, I want you to take a notice of the part that says Mother's Day is a day. Uh, let me ask you, sir, Rosario, in that sentence, do I mention a specific date of May when we celebrate? In no. that sense, no, right? I'm talking about Mother's Day in general, right? Yes, yes. So that's why I said Mother's Day is a day. And you use the relative clause when to, to explain what do you do in that day. Yes. But if you if you would like to use the, what Nati is, is, it was asking me, you said May 10th, let me put here, Okay, May, May 10th. Uh, we celebrate here in El Salvador, May 10th, right? The Mother's Day. Right. Okay. Is the day when... Se take a look on the second uh, sentence, Rosario. Okay. I'm still talking about the, the Mother's Day celebration. Oh, but, but in the second sentence, I put May 10th, which is exactly the date that here in El Salvador, people celebrate Mother's Day, right? Yes. So if I if I want to uh, explain or describe or write in a, a, a celebration and I use, Rosario, the a specific date that celebration it takes, instead of using May 10th is a day, it's not going to be correct. I need to put May 10th is the day. When and you express what you do in that day. We give presents to my mom, we give her flowers, we dance with her, etc. Okay, whatever you would like to do. Okay. But do you understand the difference now? Yes, yes. Okay, very good. So you <laughs> see, girls, it's not complicated, it's easy peasy quizzy, right? Like piece of cake. <laughs> ah, yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, girls. So that is the introduction. Uh, tomorrow we're going to continue practice this more. And there will be like writing activities and also listening activities. We're going to develop those skills for tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Hey, any okay. questions, any doubts right now? So far, so good? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Rosario, yeah. tell me. Uh, I have a problem um, with the section three. Uh-huh. Uh, 
3.6. Oh, the one that yeah. talks about festival. Yes. Okay. The Brazilian festival. Okay. Uh, uh, the, this topic is the uh, is the festival Brazilian. Brazilian festival, exactly. Uh, yeah, similar, uh, yes. similar. Uh, similar, similar. Ah, we, if uh, you want to, we can double check that tomorrow. Yes. We can, uh, I need okay. with that too. With that too? Okay, we're going to, to double check that uh, tomorrow here. We're going to okay. get into the platform and we're going to listen together, yeah. right? Because I think okay. it's a listening part, right? Right, yeah. Okay, okay. We're going to listen to that and then we're, we're going to solve it together, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Everything's going to be right. I know I know it's hard because that's okay. the way you speak. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, okay, don't worry. You. And you will get 10 after that. Okay, thank but you. Don't copy the answers. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, and kisses. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.